Yo, what is going on everyone? We're back with another SnowRunner walkthrough video. We're in Black River, Michigan. We just finished our first contract and unlocked our garage. Now we're going to take this con marshal and go grab all the watchtowers. Uh, so let's walk you through. I'm trying to grab these watchtowers as fast and easy as possible. You know what to do. Drop a like in the video. Drop a sub on the channel. Let's jump into it. Alright, so some of you might be wondering, why do we have the Con Marshal? Well, when you ha have the DLC, for some reason it unlocks them and gives them to you, but they don't have any upgrades, although I did spend a little bit of our money on upgrades, if I'm being completely honest. Um, and I like the Con a little bit better than the Chevy, so this is what we're going to use. We have it here. Why not? It's just got a little bit better ground clearance, I find. first watchtower is pretty easy. To be honest with you, the first two maps I find are the easiest to grab these watchtowers. on which helps we can put in diff lock and low gear if we need to but I don't think we're gonna need to as you can tell the con is actually just doing great here this is why I didn't want to use the 1500 it's low it doesn't have its beefy tires stock and I just I don't think it's up to the task as easy as I'd like it to be. So, if you have the DLCs and these are unlocked for you and ready, why not? Starting out, your biggest issue is going to be fuel range. As you can tell, we have 40 liters left. Um, so, sometimes what I do is I'll recover when I need to. I don't want to spend the money on a fuel trailer yet. And here we go. That's the first watchtower. Now we've got some upgrade parts uh, and a trailer store. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to come back down here and we're going to go grab this other one here or try to at least um, and then we'll probably have to recover depending on what we got left for range we've got 36 liters left out of 40 which isn't bad don't get me wrong but it's not quite enough to well it's definitely not enough to get all these watchtowers in so This reminds me of our Jeep because between the tires and everything there's a lot of bump steer in the lift. Throw the diff lock 
on and put it in a low because I don't see an easy scenario to trek through this without it, but this is a little bit of a shortcut, I guess, and we get to put the con to the test, so. I remember when I first started playing SnowRunner, actually, this was one of the watchtowers that it took me a couple tries. I had to recover a couple times, because I just got too stuck. One thing that's improved since Snowrunner first came out is the physics with these trees, because as you can tell, we're cruising over these a little bit, but before whatever update they did to make this a little bit easier, the trees would actually make you come to a dead stop usually. And there is another one. I think we can probably get this far one if we just drive out of this, to be honest. I didn't know the con went this fast. That's actually crazy. I had no idea. It doesn't take much to start losing control between the stiff suspension and these big tires. get some fuel we'll top up here we might be able to do the whole round without needing to recover and there is our 10 liters should keep us going for now
here is quite muddy and this is another situation where I'm glad I got the con instead of that Chevy. Gear, which is good we didn't end up downshifting now we're catching a little bit of traction and there we go all right so we need to get these watchtowers easiest way is probably to come here here and then we'll have to go yeah there's three more really good going through this it probably could be an automatic but I just feel like we'd end up spinning quite a bit in the end it would just waste a bit of our time slow us down quite a bit as well we can try to take this shortcut it's either gonna really help us or it's really gonna hurt Thing to consider is this has a small snorkel by default but I don't know how much that actually helps
vehicle's tuning really good, actually. You gotta be careful with this current. It's another thing I like about the con. It seems heavier than the Chevy 1500. The current can push you quite a bit, actually. Thing we filled up because now we're down to 27 liters again. Come on, there we go. Things gonna make it easier to get these two. Yeah, so we just keep going down here, and we come over here, straight through here. We're making it. find a shortcut through here. I think we can. in this circle can get pretty bad in most of the areas. That's why I kind of just drove through the middle. We went through the trees, so no reason we can't go through the middle there. SnowRunner, you got to be careful with a lot of those shortcuts, to be honest with you, because what ends up happening is you end up in a very tough situation. If you have too big of a truck, for example, you could end up wedged pretty quick in between some trees. take long to ruin your contract so here goes another one and we've got one more left guys and this is a walkthrough to grab all of these watchtowers so really we just got to follow this trail out here um, yeah and then we come up here and that's it that's all of them Here you don't want to tip 
over because we don't have the autonomous winch. It was not in the budget. It means your truck has to stay on to be able to winch. And that's not always easy. got 19 liters of fuel left so if you're doing this just remember to fuel up if you use the same exact direction I use you should have enough fuel even if you don't take some of the shortcuts I took because of the fact that it should be around the same distance and you're gonna have a little bit of fuel to spare but I don't know how much one thing I've noticed obviously um, Oh no, 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 no. That did not just happen. Do you see how, do you see how close we were? That's how close we were. That's a garage and that's, all right. We're going to have to use the 1500 to bring this out. Oh wait, maybe we're going to slide enough. No, we're not going to slide. All right, yep, we're gonna have to bring the 1500 out to grab this, but you can see the watchtower from here. And that is uh, all of them in Black River, but we're gonna pull this out and finish this right. Let's go grab the 1500. All right, we've got the 1500. We're gonna leave the garage and set our waypoints. We, we gotta find a, way, a path up there. I think I have to go all the way around basically. So we're gonna come up here. And then I believe we go, yeah, right here. And then somewhere around here, there should be a turn in for us, but we can actually probably just follow this all the way up there. You will see what I mean very quickly about the 1500 and how it performs in the mud. <laughs> it is not ideal, but it also isn't bad. seems to help quite a bit now you can tell we're in a low gear here and we're we are struggling but just like real life if you rock the wheels side to side a little bit and stuff sometimes you can grab enough traction especially in low gear because in automatic or even high it'll just spin and you'll end up digging more So we can winch off of this a little bit. We went out a little too far, I think. And you can see the front wheel is hardly grabbing anything and we're back on some solid ground so we can actually start to climb up this now and take us up to the Now this is where it gets really challenging in the 1500 is we have automatic, we don't have a diff lock, and it just spins. It has a decent amount of torque which when you're going up a grade like this sometimes it works against you and you end up rolling a little bit. It's all part of the 
puzzle, though. So we can go left, and it'll actually take us through, but I think this way is going to be easier so that we can recover that con without recovering it. As great as it is, you can just recover like we did for the 1500. Um, I really try to leave it to situations like that. If you take another truck to pull one out, it's more beneficial because then that truck's closer if you get stuck again, fall over, whatever, um, and it helps kind of keep and maintain the realism factor. And we're coming out here now, there we go. There's some deep mud. So as it's winter here in Canada, I'm hoping we can get through Michigan rather quickly and enjoy some of Alaska while we're actually in the winter. Talk about immersion. I like the snow physics quite a lot too. Might have to put it in a low just to get through this. See, these are really <laughs> small stock street tires compared to the con. You at least start with something decent. Even the stock configuration on the con is uh, a little bit better built for what we go through here in SnowRunner. But for a free starter truck, the 1500 doesn't really disappoint. And once you get it upgraded, you get some different tires and stuff, uh, it becomes quite good. be to pull the con out without rolling over the 1500 because if we roll the 1500 we are really in a jam so yeah we can't even make it up this grade this. Let's stop the engine. Let's change trucks. Put the diff lock on and climb up this the best we can without tipping it again. Then we can pop it back in automatic actually. We are on the home stretch. This is the final watchtower, guys. And so we've now unlocked all the watchtowers in Black River, Michigan. Once these are unlocked, you'll see there's still some gray areas. Now, in another video, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. One way is, is just by exploring, but the other way is, is through exploration trailers or radar units, which you would park somewheres like here and let it go off and it would scan the area. Um, some of the mod ones obviously do a lot better, but again with this playthrough we're going to go stock and no mods. So you can see here all the different contracts, you can see some upgrade parts and trucks that you can recover to start building up your garage and your fleet. We're going to get into some of these starting tomorrow, but you know what to do guys, drop a like on the video, drop a sub on the channel, and we'll catch you with the next one.